Hi, I'm Edwin Valles, and I'm here to share with you ideas and conversations ignited by Faith Factor. Have you ever heard this from your friends before? I'm depressed. So I'm here to talk about Born This Way. So alam natin when we talk about LGBT, to kind of go through. So, I'm here to talk about Born This Way. So, alam natin when we talk about LGBT, this is one of the things that we hear often, di ba? So, yung Born This Way. So, I'd like to uh, present a Catholic perspective on this particular issue. Uh, we all know that Born This Way is very uh, popular. In fact, uh, Lady Gaga herself, so a uh, staunch advocate of LGBT rights, composed a song or released a song entitled Born This Way, di ba? So, uh, from a Catholic perspective, when we talk about being born, we obviously need to talk about uh, the creator, di ba? Sino bang naglikha sa ating lahat? So, para natin maintindihan kung paano tayo pinanganak, kailangan natin intindihan kung ano ba yung perspective ng gumawa sa ating lahat. So, uh, we will go back to the creation story. So, uh, this is a common uh, passage in the Bible that is quoted when it comes to uh, birth and being created. It's taken from Genesis 1:26. So, according to the Bible passage, then God said, let us make human beings in our image after our own likeness. Diba? So, what, ano bang ibig sabihin ng made in the image and likeness of God? Diba? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin na bawat tao, bawat isa sa atin ay ginawa ng kawangis at kaimahe ng Panginoon? Diba? So, uh, napaka-grand ng idea na yun. Diba? So, we'll break it down. Uh, what does it mean? Diba? So, para natin maintindihan yung human person as made in the image and likeness of God, kailangan natin maintindihan yung several things about God. Diba? So, first, si God is substantive. So, isa siyang buong person, di ba? So, uh, by himself, he can exist, di ba? So, isa bong, isang siyang substantive being. Pangalawa po, God is relational, di ba? So, yun yung paniniwala ng mga katoliko at mga kristyano that God is uh, one person, uh, one one being in three divine persons. So, even within God, there's a relational aspect, di ba? Pangatlong component ni God, and yun na nga, in the context of uh, born this way, God is a creator. So, siya yung lumikha sa ating lahat. So, kapag sinabi na ang human person is made in the image and likeness of God, meron din, ang human person is also substantive, a human person is also relational, a human person is also creative. Diba? So, titignan, titignan natin yung isa't isa na yan. So, bakit pa, paano ba sinasabi that a human person is substantive? So, man has spiritual commonality with God. Diba? So, first, a human person is has free will, so the ability to decide. So lahat po tayo may kanya-kanyang freedom. Uh, we, may, we, we are free to choose our faith, etc., etc. Diba? So we, ha we have free will. Pangalawang part po ng being substantive is that human beings have reason or the ability to think. Diba? So lahat tayo kaya nating pag-isipan ng mga bagay-bagay as opposed to other creatures. Kung maga yung human being is the top of creation that way. Diba? We have free will, we have reason. And then third component on the human being is that we have the capacity to behold. Diba? Each of us is complete in in, in in himself or herself. Diba? We can already, we're sufficient to survive by ourselves. Diba? So, hold this. So, yan yung uh, man in made in the image and likeness of God in terms of substantiveness. Okay? And then, second point is yung relational uh, aspect of a human being made, being made in the image and likeness of God. So, following from the Genesis passage, it says that God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Diba? So, um, basically, as already known, uh, there's uh, the Trinitarian form of God. So, there's God the Father who loves the Son, and the Son loves Him back. And then there's the God the Son, who loves the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit loves Him back, and then the Spirit to the Father. So there's a there's a relationality involved in God. So ganyan din yung human person. So yung man's Trinitarian form, so dun sa, in the case of man and woman in the sanctity of marriage, the man loves the woman, and the woman loves the man. The man loves God, and the God loves man. And then God loves woman, and woman loves uh, loves man uh, loves God. 
Okay? And then, dito yung sa exclusive type of relationship. Then, there's also the other type of human relationship, also in another Trinitarian form. So, yung self, di ba, we love others, and the others love us back, and then also in relation to God, both ourselves and also with others. So, kung titignan natin yung distinction na yan, yung isang part is like uh, it is a calling towards an exclusive form of love so between one man and one woman and then the other type of love is known as inclusive type of love diba? so we include everyone so it's not just specific to one person diba? so yeah so yan yung aspect ng human being as uh, relational just like god and then third uh, human being is also creative, di ba? So, uh, meron tayong capacity to co-create, di ba? To be able to produce children. And according to God's design, ginawa yan na male and female, yung ability to create, di ba? So, for example, uh, lahat ng body part, familiar kayo sa systems of the body, right? Biology? Okay, so for example, heart natin is part of what system? circulatory system, di ba? So, yung heart natin, being part of the circulatory system, it is already complete, di ba, in itself, di ba? Mag-isa, puso niya, puso ko, puso niya, it's, it's already, it can already function within the circulatory system. Ganun din po yung penis, for example, or yung vagina, as part of the excretory system, it is complete in itself. So, by, with a penis or with a vagina, we can already urinate, di ba? So, tama ba yun? But part but the penis in the vagina, being part of the reproductive system, it is not complete in itself. So the penis cannot generate a baby, nor a vagina cannot generate a baby by itself. Diba? So it, it needs the other part. So this is how God designed yung creative power. Diba? So binigay na yan by making human beings male and female. Diba? So yun yung, then parang by doing so, man is able to participate in the in the creation diba? in the perpetuation of the species so yeah yun yung three points on man being made in the image and likeness of god diba? so ano pa bang sinasabi ng scriptures when it comes to being made in the image and likeness of god so ito another passage man from the new testament uh, is uh, from the letter of saint paul to the Ephes ephesians and he said blessed be the god and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. So kasama rin po yan. Imagine nyo ha, bago pa niya nilika ang buong mundo, everything about us, pinili na niya. Diba? So He already chose us. Diba? For example ako, I'm the younger of two brothers, so meron akong kuya, uh, lumaki, kami, uh, lumaki ako sa kainta, uh, yung mga magulang ko, yung nanay ko, active sa simbahan, yung tatay ko, active rin sa simbahan, Ganyan. So I can actually ask myself, bakit ba wala akong kapatid na babae? Bakit ba hindi ako pinalaki sa hindi ako pinanganak sa Makati or bakit hindi ako pinanganak sa US na American citizen? Bakit yung mga magulong ko hindi bakit hindi na lang iba? ba? So eh, but everything about me according to this was already chosen by God, ba? Even before the foundation of the world. So kaya pag ginawa niya tayong male or female it it was already part of his design, di ba? So yon. So this is parang this is where the dignity of the human person lies, di ba? So ngayon tataningin yon. Oh, kung napakaganda naman pala ng plano ng Diyos sa bawat tao, yung in terms of yung will niya for us to be born. Bakit? Iba't iba pa rin yung tao. Bakit may mayaman? Bakit may mahirap? Bakit may mga diligent student? May mga pasaway? May mga drug addicts? Di ba? Bakit merong may heterosexual attraction? Bakit merong homosexual attraction? Di ba? Kung ang design ni God sa ating birth is beautiful and perfect. So bakit maraming imperfections? Um, so in this regard, we need to make distinctions di ba? between being born and growing up to be, diba? So, yun yung dalawang distinction natin. So, iba po yung pagkapanganak sa atin, iba rin po yung how we grow up to be. Because yung how we grow up to be is influenced by many ad other factors. So, specifically on sexuality, so from the teaching of the Catholic Church, it says, sexuality affects all aspects of the human person in the unity of the body and soul. It especially concerns affectivity, the capacity to love and to procreate, and a more general way, the aptitude of for forming bonds of communion with others, diba? So, 
kung titignan natin yung terminology ng church, so, hinighlight ko rin yung mga keywords, affectivity. So, sexuality involves papano tayo magsoshow ng affection to other people. Diba? So, yun yung affection natin. It is also mean, uh, it also requires a capacity to love. Diba? Uh, parang the ability to love others. And then third, it also is aptitude. Diba? So, kayo, mga estudyante kayo, meron kayong aptitude exams. Diba? So, bago kayo mag-college, for example, kung gusto nyo mag-engineering, dapat meron kayong aptitude sa engineering. Diba? You have enough math subjects, for example, or math competency. So, kung makikita natin yung lingwahe ng simbahan, yung sexuality somehow entails a capacity building. So, hindi siya parang basta-basta na lang nandoon, di ba? So, uh, kaya meron siyang process of capacity building. Maybe to illustrate better, uh, yung sex, yung teaching ng, sec, ng church is sex will be between one, ma one male and female. Tama? Yes? Okay, for example, the male is a two-year-old boy and the female is a, a two-year-old girl. Mag pwede na ba sila mag-sex? No. So, bakit hindi? One male and female. Di ba yun yung teaching? So, alam natin, even without the Catholic teaching alone, that a human person has to go through a growth and development before they can engage her sexual faculties. Ito yung sinasabi natin, kaya natin gumawa ng distinction between being born and growing up to be. Di ba? So, in, in terms of, uh, parang, marami pong factors in terms of growth and development. May intelligence capacity, yung talent, etc., etc., but pagdating sa sexual sexuality, uh, just to summarize yung maraming pinagdadaanan ng human person, so yung 0 to 12 is this child stage or this, dito nagkakaroon ng gender identity formation. So yung kanina example, yung 2-year-old at saka male and female, eventually they will have to discover their uh, God-given masculinity or femininity. So hindi yun something na parang alam na nila off the bat, di ba? Pinanganak pa lang sila ng nanay nila, alam na nila na babae sila or lalaki sila or parang ma-attract sila sa babae or sa lalaki. So, yun yung 0 to 12 child stage or gender identity formation. The most basic, uh, marami pong factors involved then, but the most basic of all is, kanino ba matututong maging lalaki ang isang batang lalaki? Sa tatay, di ba? Kanino matututong maging babae ang isang batang babae sa nanay, di ba? So, uh, while we wish that all family scenarios are ideal, diba? it doesn't happen all the time. Diba? So progressively, as the child uh, grows older, uh, dun sa uh, puberty stage, yung 13 to 18 is the adolescent stage. Diba? Dito nagkakaroon ng sexual attraction formation. Based on my experience and also a lot of my brothers and sisters who's, who has uh, same-sex attraction, it is something that we discovered. Diba? Hindi yun something na parang alam, parang madidiscover mo lang, wait, na-attract at, at ako sa kapalalaki or sa kapwa babae, di ba? So, uh, because, ganun talaga yung design of the human person, di ba? All sexual attractions will come out during the adolescent stage, during puberty, di ba? Yung mga babae, physically, nagkakaroon ng menstruation, menstruation yung, baba, yung lalaki, bumababang boses, nagkaka... nagkaka uh, uh, Balbas, bigote, etc. So, that's it. that is how the human person is designed, diba? So, basically, kung ano yung what is missing on the child stage, so for example, ako male, uh, maayos in an ideal formation yung aking pamilya, lumaki ko, uh, embracing my masculinity. What is missing in me is femininity, diba? So, therefore, come puberty stage, doon ako magkakaroon ng sexual attraction. But what happens is for some people, the more basic a gender identity with their parang with either masculinity or femininity is not fully formed diba? for whatever reason so maraming maraming pong factors involved dyan. and so because it is a more basic need do nagkakaroon ng sexual attraction come puberty so um yon kaya nagkakaroon ng uh, same sex attraction so yan uh, okay so the discuss na natin yung being born next the discuss na natin yung growing up to be so uh, sabihin natin Paano yan? Hindi naging maganda yung childhood ko eh, di ba? So ano ba, condemned na ako ng ganito. For example, yung mga drug addicts uh, or yung mga, mga serial killers sa US, di ba? Karamihan sa kanila, they grew up without fathers. Eh. So parang ano ba yun? So uh, condemned na ba ako to, to live this life na ganito forever, di ba? So hindi rin po. Uh, there's a third component po nito, so being born and growing up to be. And the third component is becoming, di ba? So, uh, 
parang whatever we are right now and because we have free will because we have reason we can actually aspire to be better than who we are right now diba so yun yung becoming so following uh, susundan lang po natin yung kinote kanina from Ephesians it says na parang uh, God chose us before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish in love he destined us for the adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will, 'di ba? So meron pong uh, parang vision ng Diyos, 'di ba, ng pag ng pinanganak tayo. May, may maraming nangyari sa atin while growing up, but also he has a vision and has a will where we can be, 'di ba? Where we, can, we where we can uh, move forward to. So basically, to summarize it, it's a call to holiness. So all of us are called to become holy, to grow in the virtues, lalong-lalo na yung virtue of love, hope and faith among other things and then he's also calling us to be to grow up or to become without blemish to be to be pure and to be chaste uh, leading all the way to his son Jesus Christ diba so uh, yun yung becoming natin this is what we can become despite whatever happened to us in our past life diba so yeah so to end babalikan natin yung topic natin na born this way diba so ito yung uh, ito yung uh, medyo sinasabi ng mundo but uh, yung yung catholic perspective is hindi lang talaga tayo pinanganak na parang aside from being born made in the image and likeness of god aside from growing up to be something we're also born for the way diba so and we all know and by by christian faith we all know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. So yeah, um, thank you very much.